everyone. Hi everyone, Drive the Fast Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Caliucci's record, Red Moon in Venus. This is the third full-length LP from pop and R&B singer and songwriter Caliucci's, who apparently is getting astrological with it on the title of her new project. But regardless of what the stars spell out for the music on this record, I'm most excited to hear what exactly this will mean as far as a new chapter for Kelly. Because we've had a pretty interesting trajectory for her so far, with the dreamy soul and vintage, cheeky, doo-wop aesthetics of her breakout EP. Then we had the much moodier vibes and sophisticated genre blends on her debut album, Isolation, a record that's really aging like fine wine at this point. And even though her next record, Sin Miedo, was a little brief, it had its share of bangers and smartly showed her battling it out in the Latin pop and reggaeton trenches a bit, which again is a good move considering how much those sounds and genres are kind of taking over the charts every year. But now with Red Moon and Venus, Callie seems to mostly be back to her soul and R&B roots. With her most atmospheric, dreamy, and buttery offer yet, there were some strong teasers to this project as well, like I Wish You Roses, which is an intoxicating farewell song, Callie parting ways with someone romantically, wishing them well as they leave, wishing them roses, also likening herself to a rose. The instrumental on this thing is silky smooth, 10,000 thread cast. We got laid back beats, synths, some chill guitars as well. I would say this is like a Mac DeMarco type instrumental, if not for the fact that the atmosphere and Kelly's vocals uh, provide a more sexy allure. The chorus as well on this thing sticks with you like uh, that one part of a dream that you can actually like vividly remember. So that track is fire, that track is great. We also have the uh, bilingual lunar funk of Moonlight. There's also a squishy bass line on this track that's to die for. Kelly's breathy vocal leads on the refrains are, again, very light on the ears, but uh, unignorable, very present, light but intense, like the strong scent of perfume in the air. And believe it or not, these two tracks are pretty representative of the overall vibe delivered by the dozen or so more tracks on this project. Red Moon and Venus is a sensual odyssey that, yes, is low on specifics, but it is high on sex appeal, glamour, and desire, for better or for worse, because while this project is definitely seductive, it it also doesn't dig that deep in some pockets and can come across a little too uniform. For example, while I do love the expressions of anticipation and naughtiness on Worth the Wait, with lyrics about there being a mirror on the ceiling so uh, she can uh, watch this person top her, which has me in a sweat. There's also an interesting narrative subtext in the track, too, like toward the end when she's asking if this person is still down, uh, talking about them uh, wanting to put a baby in her, also saying she doesn't want to end up uh, in a broken family situation, too. So I guess even in this moment of desire, there are concerns. There's also All Mine, which is a track that's all about shutting out and shutting off the outside world in order to get lost in a sea of love with someone. Callie essentially recommending that everybody else be told that uh, you're taken now, buddy. Setting that to some watery synthesizers, some crisp drums. Every time I see you smile, that's all me. So yeah, while those moments are great, there are some other tracks in the first leg that I feel are maybe kind of lacking on the writing end. For example, Love Between, the lyrics on this track feel like what you would get if you were forced to write copy for the most lowest common denominator newspaper ad for the concept of love. Love between two human beings can be so wonderful, you don't say. That's basically a five-star Yelp review. Recently also, Caliucci's and Don Tolliver kind of traded features on their respective records here, which uh, I think is cute in concept. It makes me want to go, ah! We hear it on this side with the song Fantasy, and despite my high hopes here uh, with their romance and everything, I just don't really get much out of hearing them both vocally on a track. Plus, I feel the dreamy production on the record is beginning to get a little too bland. I feel somewhat similarly about the track Astaquando as well, which aesthetically is so slick to the point where any and all standout textures in the mix here are pretty much removed entirely outside of Callie's very breathy spoken word passage toward the end. There's also Deserve 
Serve Me featuring Summer Walker, which I had high hopes for, but is so soaked in reverb, the vocals don't even really sound like Callie's. It's kind of like they're airbrushed or something. Going deeper into the track list here, we don't really get another bop on the album until the 80s synth pop anthem Endlessly, whose bright synth hits and chic funk rhythm guitars are just ah, chef's kiss. The song on this track is so feel good and euphoric too, it's hard not to fall for Kelly's charms. Yes, you deserve to be spoiled. Yes, we can't get enough. There is a huge switch though in mood on the following track, Moral Conscience, which is kind of the closest she comes to wishing bad vibes upon a former lover, saying this person's gonna regret leaving her and they're gonna be alone at some point. She also comments on her own mindset during this previous time, saying she felt lost and was maybe searching for a love that she didn't get when she was a child. I also like the loose, synthy, hip-hop inspired production on this one, plus that sudden launch into her falsetto range that she does at one point is insane. But from here, the not too late interlude drags on a little bit too long to actually be an interlude. But I suppose in a way, the narrative here does feel like a continuation of uh, the previous previous track, despite everything I was just talking about, Callie is still uh, in the mindset of, well, you know, uh, it's, it's not too late to say you love me. Showing that this record isn't just a romantic getaway or something like that, but exemplifies the various mood swings of love too, especially in the second half. Whether that's on the song Blue, which is a low-key anthem about loving too hard, with a haunting lead melody and throwback beats and saxophone that feel like pure Sade worship. The song Deserve Me, I mentioned earlier, is an interesting switch because Callie's love on on this one is portrayed as being a bit more conditional. Is this person doing enough to deserve the love I have to give? But then the record strangely tries to end things very quickly on a peppy and upbeat note on the song Happy Now, where Callie sings about uh, cosmic conditions conspiring against the relationship she's been singing about much of this time. Seems like it wasn't meant to be, but simultaneously, if you miss me, you should text. Callie kind of finishes the track wanting to just reflect on all of the good things that happened over the course of this love. It's not a very conclusive end for this relationship or the emotions that came out of it, but maybe Callie, at least at the point of making this record, wasn't at that point of resolution. Which, for sure, can be the case for a lot of people. In this instance, it feels like she's uh, more faking it than she is making it in terms of actually feeling happy and serene and content about being in a new place. So while there are some bland pockets aesthetically on this thing, Thing, a few tracks that I think are a bit underwritten. I still found this to be a pretty quality album from Callie. Most of the songs on this thing are pretty great. The consistent feelings of desire, romance, love, limbo, and heartbreak make for a very solid theme. And finally, there is an aesthetic cohesion to this record I can respect, even if it does lead to some tracks sounding kind of washed out. I'm feeling a light seven on this one. Transition, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Caliuchis, uh, forever.